Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to do a video about cardioid mode. Um, now this information uh, may vary depending on the model of speak you have. I'm using the RCF sub 905 AS2s um, but roughly the cardioid mode should work in the same way but you may have to consult your manual. So what is cardioid mode? Cardioid mode is, if you've got two subwoofers, and uh, you probably can't see the other one, but I've got, I've got this stacked up on it, another subwoofer down here, is if you put two speakers, one firing forward and one firing backwards, the backward firing one, it would be quiet. Why would you want to do that? Well, I and mean, sometimes uh, when you're DJing, you might want it to be a Bit bit quieter behind there. Maybe you've got sound restrictions and uh, neighbours you want to keep quiet. It's, uh, it's not something you need to do all the time, but um, if you need to be quieter behind the back line, because bass is on the omnidirectional. But if you need to be quieter behind the, the back line, this is a good way of um, curing that problem. Now I'm going to show you the best way how to set it up. Okay. Right, okay, so um, here we are in the menu of the RCF Sub 905 AS2. This is the top speaker that I've fired, um, that I'm firing backwards. If I come back a bit, you can see. Excuse me, there is a speaker underneath it. Right, um, set up however you want, if you have four speakers. Um, if you have two speakers, I'd recommend sending them in mono, that's why there's two inputs in. Um, you can do this if you have three, and you'd have two firing towards the crowd and one firing backwards. Um, I think you can um, arrange them horizontally. I've set, it, I've set it up like this. Now, I've been experimenting, and from what I can tell, no matter how hard I try, doesn't matter which way round I, I set the uh, subwoofers, the bottom subwoofer is always the loudest. So in my, in my experience, I would always make the bottom, if, you, if you're gonna arrange them, you know, um, if you're going to stack them, I'd make the bottom one the uh, subwoofer that fires forwards. In my, in my experience. I have read the manual from RCF and they, they don't stipulate that. It's just like that I switched the bottom one to cardioid and it was still quieter uh, the, other, the other side and I was expecting a different outcome. I think that's part because, um, because the floor acts like a, a kind of... Um, and amplify the same way as a horn would. Um, so what I would advise is if you stack them, the uh, top one or middle one, if you if you do three, the top one should be set to cardioid. And from what I can tell, it doesn't matter which way round you plug them in. So um, it doesn't have to be like the first in the chain or anything. You you basically tell that you you put in cardioid mode. And that should invert the signal, which should make it quieter. So on these, uh, that's your volume, that's your delay, and this is uh, where you set it. Um, so L3, that's your extended low end, and you go through. I mean, it, it does say you should, should know what, what all this means if you, if you don't if you find with the videos. So L4. H1, which is um, it's 40 hertz and above, H2, H3, H4, H, uh, C1, C2, C3. I'm setting this to C3 because the other subwoofer should be set to um, L3. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a second. So we've now got this set up in a cardioid arrangement. And if I... Um, I'll bring this back. So I'll show you on the uh, bottom. 
So here's the uh, bottom. Volume, delay, and it should be set to L3. The top one I've set to uh, C3. And uh, I've used, this is my primary input and these are going up to the top, top one. So I have a bass test tone um, working on. So this one, double check it. So the top one should be set to C3, that's the one in cardioid mode. Uh, so this one should be set to L3. File the dB meter up. Settle. So this one's about it's hovering around 80 dB. And if I come round, uh, this is the top one. And I hold it up and get this up. This one is hovering around 70 dB, it's dropping sometimes down into uh, 50 dB. And uh, yeah, it is a, is a, is a bit quieter over here. So it's about a 10 B dB drop. So that's cardioid mode. I would strongly advise you to, if you are going to use cardioid mode in, in you know, in Angra, in, at, at a gig, I would strongly advise you try them at home or. Uh, in a place away from the public first um, setting up things like that so that really puts into practice and enjoy and uh, maybe I'll see you in another video cardio mode